New Zealand's prime minister says the country is banning all assault weapons immediately. The ban also includes high capacity magazines and military style semi-automatic rifles like the ones used in last week's mass shooting at two mosques. This comes as that community is burying the 50 victims from the attacks. Natisha Lance has more. Well, Aisha, this was the worst mass shooting in the history of New Zealand, and the country is still grieving those victims. The first funeral today was for a father and a son. Khalid Mustafa and his 15-year-old son, Hamza, were buried today. His younger brother, Zayed, uh, he was also he was in a wheelchair. He also survived the attack himself. Hundreds of mourners came together for four other funerals today for victims of that attack. And a moment that really captured social media, though, is the traditional haka dance, which you're looking at right now. And I'm going to show you a tweet right here. So. NBC posted this one members of different biker games performing the haka as a tribute to victims. This is a ceremonial dance that they do at funerals also for celebrations, but this really shows how the country is coming together in the face of such a tragedy. I want to show you these images too. These are high school students who came together for a vigil for those victims outside of one of the mosques. And then another picture here of more students who greeted the prime minister as she came to their high school, also showing that haka dance again, just a moment of solidarity as they continue continue to grieve in this wake of a tragedy and we'll see more and more funerals as the days continue to go by.